I'm Rick Sellens, and we're going to make some pressure measurements to support our spirometer. First off, we need to uh, figure out what kind of pressure sensor we've actually got. So let's do an I2C scan and see what it is and where it is. Looks like this one is a BMP 280. Not a BME, but a BMP 280. And it's on port uh, 76 hex. That's the 0x76. We know it's a BMP 280 because its ID code is 58. So now we can run the test code for the BMP 280 and see what happens. First problem, we need to make sure we wait for the serial port to initialize. Next, we need to make sure we tell it that we're on channel 0x76, not 77, which is the default for the library. We're getting data, but we'd like to get the pressure data to come out faster, so let's shorten the delay. Let's just print the pressure so that we could use the serial plotter tool to see how it's changing with time. I think we have a problem. Why is it just jumping in steps like that? Looks like it's only getting new values about once every half second. That can't be right. We need to check up on the settings. It looks like it's setting up some delays and filtering. Let's find out what they're about. All libraries will have a file in their code which ends with the extension .h. These contain a lot of the declared constants, and that's where I would expect to look to figure out what those sampling, filter, and standby things mean. Here's the parts we're looking for. Let's see if we can make some choices that might speed things up. Reduce the standby time. That got rid of the stair-stepping effect we were seeing. That slow response at the end doesn't look like my breathing. Let's maybe turn off the filtering, the smoothing. That's catching the sharp edges. If we get rid of the oversampling, we'll probably see some more noise in the signal. And now I think we're seeing something closer to the raw output from the pressure sensor. To understand what's going on with those settings, we can try applying some smoothing and oversampling ourselves. Or, for practical applications, we can rely on the capabilities that are built into this uh, digital transducer. To interpret these pressure readings as flow rates, you'll need to do a little fluid mechanics.